guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. We didn't stutter this time, we got it right, it's 10. We practiced it beforehand. Today we are doing a Sunday reset night routine. We're out of groceries, we're gonna do groceries, and then after... <laughs> Just enjoy some B-roll of us um, getting stuff because baby's already crying. So. He gets very excited when we're almost home. Does anybody else put their butt warmer seats to three when it's um, 73 degrees outside? Only dumb people. We're back home now. Uh, right now, Enrique's gonna put away all the groceries. We need to have dinner. I was gonna cook something, but I don't feel like it anymore. Plus, I remember that yesterday I had made some pasta for the girls. And then Enrique and I, we're gonna have some Caesar wraps. Chicken salad Caesar wraps. They're really good. I'm snacking on some late July chips first. Do any of you guys open your bags or packaging in general like you're up ape? <laughs> yeah, like, Jacob, why do you open it like that? <laughs> You'll never catch me opening something like that. This is the most efficient way. I have to feed baby. Because he's obviously very hungry. So he go he comes first before all of us. So right now I'm going to breastfeed him. He is 100% breastfed. I don't do bottles, no formula, just completely breastfed. Why you might ask? With my girls I did do bottle feed and sometimes I supplement with a formula. Since I already have two kids, I just feel like breastfeeding directly from the breast, from the source, is a lot easier. Because, you know, I don't have to pump anymore. I don't have to be washing bottles, pump gear. And with pumping, you obviously make more milk. So you're always leaking. You're always feeling really engorged. And now, after a couple months of just strictly breastfeeding, your milk supply just regulates. So I no longer leak and I never feel like super full in my boobs. It's just the perfect amount that I make just for this guy. And he's growing really well because he's 96 percentile both weight and height. So I'm gonna feed him now. Although it is annoying though, I will say the only bad part about that is when I want to go out, can't really leave for more than two hours because I don't have any milk ready for him. But if I know I have like an event or something where I do need to be out for more than a couple hours, I'll pump like a week before, or a couple days, days before, just so I can be ready. Oh, he's so angry. Okay, let's feed you. Happy now? He's currently nursing. Peeky boo. Alright, homeboy just had his dinner. Oh, oh, I guess he had a little bit too much. Oh my god, it just keeps on coming. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy, he throws up quite a lot actually. With my girls, they would never, not once you guys, as babies they would never throw up. This guy throws up mm, almost every day. Oh good, cause you don't know when to stop. It's like that, like he, he nurses. Say like babies know when to nurse, when to stop. He does not know. And but then if I take him off when I'm like, when I feel like he's had too much, he cries. So I just let him decide, you know. I mean, he's happy though. Look. You happy? <laughs> yes, he's happy. And now I have a lovely mark on my arm to remember him by. You think that's so funny. <laughs> Now that he's content, he's using his, his baby jungle that we pimped out. Anything that looks like we can hang from there, we hang it on there. <laughs> it's 
state of the art. And this is usually what happens. Everybody's just relaxing. Yeah, I'm so relaxed. Well, I mean, coincidentally, today you're putting stuff away. But usually he's just watching The Sopranos, which is what's playing. A little sneak peek of everything we got. <laughs> right now it's just like snack stuff, diet. I promise we had more healthy stuff. Oh my God, he threw up here too. Right, that's vomit. Damn, see, this is why I can never wear nice things. Come on, let me see it. That's why moms look the way they do, because we're always getting thrown up on. <laughs> I'm currently heating up the girls' dinner. Not in the microwave, because in the microwave it loses almost all nutrients. I'm gonna heat it up in the pan, because I'm a good mom. <laughs> we're a Mexican household, so we do not let food go to waste. Mostly just because, mostly just because Enrique, you know, I don't like leftovers. I just don't really like leftovers, but Enrique will eat chicken from like two weeks ago. He does not care. And I guess he says that's how he grew up. In Mexico, they would eat chicken from two weeks ago and they're perfectly fine. Okay, caca? Okay, Olivia has to go poop. Dinner, easy leftovers. It is pasta with organic ground bison, organic pasta sauce, a whole onion, five garlics, super healthy. It tastes good. Next. And as you see, Victoria has a really good big sister. She's grabbing Olivia's chair. And we're also gonna add some grass milk. <laughs> organic raw cheddar. I think we've talked about this in the channel before. I'm gonna grate some into the girls' pastas, like so. And if you guys follow my channel long enough, you know that I used to make such amazing meals, like Mexican meals, and lately I've just been, you know, with a baby, it's just been really hard for me to cook such extravagant, extravagant meals. You still, you still do it rather often. What are you even talking about? Not like before, I used to cook Mexican meals all the time, like sometimes twice a day. So when you work, you cook more than when you don't work, or because uh, kids are more work than actual going to work. Wow. Yeah. Yes. They are. Oh, look at this! Look at her got on by herself. What? How do you get on there, girly? <laughs> Gee, wish. Hey, bye. Just no. Hey, bye. <laughs> and Enrique says he's gonna have this for dinner too. No, 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 no. I'm waiting for my wrap. Oh, you want to wrap? I want to wrap. I just, I said, put a little bit of it. I, I was gonna cook something really cool for you guys for this video, but even then, I'm just like, it's too much work. It's not. Do the wraps? Oh no, the wraps. Yeah, but I, I meant like I was gonna cook a different meal. Oh no, do something else. This is supposed to be realistic, and yeah, you know, it's not like realistically we eat lots of leftovers. Oh, you need a bit. <laughs> So realistic. Yeah. <laughs> First person view. Right now you can see it, but the camera is on my forehead. POV. Yeah, this is POV. All right. Tarico, Olita? Tarico, Victoria? Baby brother is very closely watching The Sopranos. He's gonna grow up to be in the mafia. But Mr. Soprano, where you have to put the Gumar? You told us not to play with the business, family business, and yet we're here. To make our little chicken Caesar salad wraps, all you need is some chicken nuggets. Well, that's not all you need. You also need other things, but that's like the main ingredient. And kids always talk over you. Okay? When I eat dummy food, what I can get? What can you get? When I eat dummy food, what they want for both? Oh my gosh, she's asking for dessert. Get that, get that, get that. Something I love about kids is that you see these cute little things like this mini. She's in a table eating sushi and a burger. Isn't that adorable? And just imagine going about your day and walking and passing this. Kids can be cute. Now let's prepare our Caesar salad wrap. So we got some chicken nuggets. Oh, he's gonna record me. So we're gonna do five chicken nuggets per wrap. Lovely. We're gonna take our freshly organic washed lettuce. Triple wash. You need like to add the parmesan. So oh, the croutons. You already oh. add croutons. Oh, no wonder I thought we we do have croutons. Okay, you add croutons as well. Okay, but first let me add the parmesan. Usually I would add lemon, but we only have limes. It still works. Sprinkle of lime. Caesar salad dressing. And then 
and the croutons. Ahí están, búscalos, están las bolsas. How many croutons do you want? Sprinkle like seven or eight, maybe. Caesar salad. Now wrap it. That was your joke. You stole it and you butchered it. You take a bite. Oh wait, this was yours. I already heard you complaining. Yeah, I was about to say. Now take a bite of. I slaved all day making this and bacon. Love it. Love it's so good. It is really good. And easy to make, see? It's so simple. Like, it's not like eating a super elaborate burger. It's just, or something like that. It's a quick snack. It's, it's not snack, it's dinner. Right, but it's something that you could get in a 7 Eleven. You know what I'm saying? Wow. No, that's not what I mean. I mean, like, this is, this is I'm eating my Caesar salad wrap. Enrique's almost done. And he's also having some celery with ranch. He's and so beer. healthy. And beer. Mas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, she needs. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I don't need this one. No, that's not a spoon. Gayo, 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 gayo. Gayo. Okay, that's a gayo. I just mopped. The floors are clean. And look at this child. She says, wash my hands. I'm like, no, you're going straight to the bath. Look at that face. Like, look wow. at those hands. Oh my God. Are you flexing? <laughs> <laughs> look at Victoria. She's so clean. All right, bath time for girls. Okay, mom. Through the sponge at me. Now my dress is all wet. I tell you, there's no point in wearing nice, nice things. I'm giving the girls a bath, but he decided he's bored now. Yeah. Already, how dare you having your children cry? Someone in the comments said like, "Oh, I could never." So how can you? Seriously. I'm such a bad parent. I let you cry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh no, his arm is falling off. I'm crying. Oh no, look, um, he lost a tooth or something. He lost his teeth from crying. <laughs> In a previous video, a lot of you guys said that I should use a baby carrier. I have two. I just never use them because I feel like they're complicated. And even when I have him in here, I feel like he's gonna fall off. Like I still feel like I have to carry him like this. Cause I just have that sensation like he's gonna fall. I need you guys to tell her how easy it is. Cause that literally is like a backpack with a waist securement. I don't know how to say that. And she's like, oh no, no, it's so hard and complicated. Bro, it is hard, not. complicated. And I feel like he's gonna fall off. My sister actually gave us that wrap thing. The one that you have to put the baby and then wrap yourself. The one that's just a cloth. Yeah. Yes. And she was like, oh, there's no way I'll do it because I will never figure it out. She just put it herself like as soon as she opened it, she put in her mind that she's never gonna use it and she has never used it. She probably never will. Okay, what else, Enrique? I'm exposing you. Also, yes, I hate you how you open packaging. Is this an X video? Should I say my X about you now? Okay, hit me with one. That you don't wash your own underwear. <laughs> Enrique and I are switching because I'm going to finish giving the girls a bath and clean the kitchen. So I told him to relax with baby. I can just have him there while I watch Sopranos. He loves watching Sopranos. That's all he wants. He's gonna walk around. He wants to feel like he's in a belly again. Look how he's looking at Enrique. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 I kiss him right in the south spot. <gasps> he's gonna be... Special for life. <laughs> Enrique's gonna go take him for a walk. <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> look, let me just give a, a three more steps and then I will fall asleep. Look. I feel it. Well, have fun while mommy cleans. I'll watch the after. 
I was gonna do a time lapse of me cleaning, but you know what? Let's just do the good old, it's gonna be clean in three, two, one. Okay, the girls got out of the bath. Olivia's over there with Enrique. And now they're gonna have their kefir and milk because we finally have kefir. Victoria was having withdrawals. We hadn't had kefir in like a week because we didn't go grocery shopping. Kefir. Olivia gets her milk. And no, baby, he needs his milk too. He needs milk again. Okay, I just changed him into his little pajamas. It's like a dress. Just because it's easier at night times because you don't have to like unbutton everything. You just pull it up, change a diaper. It's all good. And it's pretty comfy, nice and soft for him. And right now he's ready to go to sleep. That's why I have all the lights off, but I have the little projector going. And then I also have the crib going, the sound, the white noise. And I have the fan going. To reduce the risk of SIDS, you have to have white noise and the fan going that they've noticed that that does help a lot in reducing it. So I just try to take all those extra steps in order to not have that happen because I'm really scared about that. And especially since I've heard that boys are more prone to SIDS, it, it honestly terrifies me. Even though I know it's like not likely, it like helps them not be in a deep, deep sleep or something like that. Something like that, I'm not sure what, but they just said it's the safest. So now I'm just gonna feed him. He sleeps with me, he doesn't sleep in his crib. And I know like people are gonna be like, oh, you're preaching about SIDS, but he co-sleeps with you. I don't know, I've co-slept with all my babies. That's just the way I've done it. It's easier at nighttime. I just, whenever he wakes up, I just pop a boob out and feed him and he falls asleep. And that way I don't have to like wake up, make a bottle. He just feeds, goes right back to sleep. This is actually a twin size bed. I just put it this way. So it's like a king, a DIY king bed. So that way there's just more space. Enrique sometimes he'll sleep with us but but in all honesty whenever I have a baby Enrique will sleep in the living room and I'll sleep here with baby just because it's cool sleeping with the baby it takes up a lot of room even though he's so small he'll like be this way or he, he just turns a lot currently nursing him and that's how he falls asleep he'll fall asleep while I nurse him it can take anywhere from five to sometimes 30 minutes just depends how he's feeling Right now, he actually looks pretty awake. And then once he goes to sleep, I'll try to like, well, since it's Vlogmas, usually I just fall asleep with him. But since it's Vlogmas, I have to like sneak away and edit videos. So that's what's gonna happen. And also I have to put the girls to sleep till still. <laughs> He decided he wasn't sleepy and that's how it happens some nights. Some nights he won't fall asleep until like 1, 2 a.m. I'm thinking today's one of those nights, which is fine because I got to get the girls ready for bed. Yeah, clean up your room. So right now the girls are going to clean their room before they go to sleep. That's their room. Right now they're picking up their toys from the living room. And they're going to bring it to their room and he's over there big chilling. He should be sleeping. have done cleaning. Now Enrique is going to brush their teeth. Okay, I usually start with Victoria. I start with Victoria because she can kind of do it herself now. So I just get her started, make sure I get the toothpaste everywhere. Do like, ah, ah, and then I just let her do it. Then Olivia, they use different toothpaste because Olivia actually still swallows her. Oh, yeah. One. It's not swallow proof because you will swallow it, but it swallows safe. Yes, supposedly. 
this is like Enrique's job. Uh, it's, I guess when he leaves, then I have to do it, but usually he's the one that brushes their teeth. Jeez, Victoria. <laughs> 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 If you brush your face, you know, it's also exfoliating. Escupe. Escupe otra vez. Again. One more time. Last one. Good job. <laughs> then I get her up. Uh -huh. You cannot show this, but as I'm here, because they're gonna go to the room now, I get her naked and she gets to pee while not naked. Oh, well, her pants down. Yeah, and then she pees before Victoria, bed. Victoria, escupe. Escupe. Otra vez. Una más. Última. Eso. So now that Olivia's done peeing, then it's Victoria's turn to pee. She was taking her. Oh, she was, she was okay. And every time she's done, oh, she didn't do it today because I was there with her, but every time she's done brushing her teeth, she comes to the room and she's like, Mommy, dientes. She comes and shows off her clean teeth. Oh, you're so comfy. <laughs> oh, she loves her bed. There, now they're ready to watch a little TV before bed. Get the projector going. And then I put their little projector on. What color do you want? Blue and green? Red and green? Or red and purple? There we go, their favorite, Mickey and Minnie white face. Look at how happy they are. And now they're gonna watch TV for like maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then I'll come in and tuck them in and it's time for bed. And that was pretty much it for our nighttime routine. What happens next? I'll just like brush my teeth. That's not that exciting, so I won't record that. Brush my teeth, get ready to, for bed. I already have my PJs on and everything. Once the girls are asleep, like I said, I'll either go to sleep too, but like it's Vlogmas, so right now I have to edit, which is why I've been super tired lately. And then I have to like get up early and go to the gym. And baby boy, he's still awake. Like I said, every night is different. Sometimes he'll fall asleep early at 10. Sometimes he doesn't want to fall asleep till one. He just wants to cut. Cuddle. It's nice. I'm, I'm cherishing these moments. Like it can get stressful, but once nighttime hits, it, it's a little more relaxing because the girls are in their bed. They're just doing their own thing, and I'm just here cuddling with baby. So it's a little more chill. And Enrique, um, he's in the living room watching The Sopranos. I do miss him sleeping here, but at the same time, it's really nice having the whole bed to myself. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching our nighttime routine because so many of you asked for this video. <laughs> Just kidding, it was like five people that asked for it. But, I mean, it's Vlogmas. If you guys have videos that you want us to make, now's your chance to let us know what videos you want to see because, I mean, I'm sure you guys don't want to see a vlog every day. Maybe you want to do like a sit down, um, what other videos are there, mukbangs? I don't know, give us ideas and we'll do them. All right, well, thank you and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow, hopefully. Bye. Why are you laughing? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, bye! <laughs>